Uh, so hi everyone. Today I will be giving you a brief introduction about what is probabilistic context-free grammar. So in my last post, uh, we have seen what is a context-free grammar. So in a context-free grammar, we have seen that uh, from uh, like we have a combination of terminal and non-terminal states, and using that uh, we are creating out some rules for a language. So that determines whether uh, so when we get a sentence for a particular language, language, we can follow up from these rules and check out whether the language is correct or not. So like for example, if we look here, so assume that to be some language L1 and we have these rules like start token NPV. You need to go and check out my context free grammar video as well for this. NP gives out pronoun, NP gives out proper noun, etc. So these are the rules that we have got. Yes. So now uh, what is probabilistic context free grammar and not just CFG? Uh, so basically, uh, in the above uh, rules that you saw that we have, uh, we don't have, we're providing any probabilities to the rule. So in case of uh, CFG, uh, we mean like if we get a uh, rule A generates B and C, this means that A always generates B and C, right? So uh, it is uh, something that is always replaceable. But in case of PCFG, what we're doing is that we're also providing a probability that A generates rule uh, like P, uh, B and C with a probability 0.9. 0.8 80% of the time 90% of the time so can be the case that when we are creating some parsing tree using uh, context free grammar we might be getting a, 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 a concrete parsing tree without any probabilities but in case of probabilistic context free grammar we can generate multiple uh, uh, parsing trees with different probability combinations does it make sense so as in case of uh, uh, as in the example like in my previous video I have explained the CYK algorithm using a context-free grammar if in the same way we are creating a new syntactic parsing to using probabilistic context-free grammar we can also have probabilities for different context trees uh, for different uh, parsing trees and eventually we can choose out the most prominent tree out of it that is an advantage that we get from probabilistic context-free grammar as in case as in my last video I explained how we can have multiple parsing trees for the same sentence as a sentence can have multiple meanings like for example, there are old men and women, so it can have two meanings, whether both men and women are old or like it's just old men and women can be old or young as well. So in case of uh, like this multi-meaning uh, multi sentences, we can have multiple parsing trees coming in and we don't know which tree we should be choosing out. So in that case, probabilistic context can be of great help.